Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is Rick again. I've been doing wholesaling going on 21 years right now. I absolutely love this business. And we are here all to talk about how to get started on like an extreme low budget. And honestly, $500 is a lot more than when I started out wholesaling. So if you're like, Rick, how the heck am I going to get 500 bucks? Honestly, you can technically do this business with $0. Is it the easiest thing? No. But I'm going to give you ideas today on really, you can use this with a zero budget up to 500. And obviously, as you go higher in numbers, you can do more and more things. But I will tell you this, here's the secret you have to understand is if you can learn how to wholesale on little to no money, you can do amazing things. I find people who try to start and throw money at everything in wholesaling, massive coaches, mentors, all these giant groups, they go mastermind to mastermind, they never really do anything and they never completely take off. Why? Because they never truly figured out how to master the art of wholesaling. You cannot buy your way into this. The people that do the best get, take the most action and they immerse themselves in it. So if you're at $0 or 500, it's the same thing. I'm here to tell you. So I did it with a little bit of money, about 300 bucks. And I'm going to show you how, if I was going to start today with $500 or less, exactly want to do step-by-step. Step. Not only am I going to do that, I'm going to show you the marketing method you want to do. And I'm going to break it down like dollar for dollar. It's really simple. And I am somewhat of an expert on this and I know how to do it. I have people that bring me leads all the time that have spent zero dollars. So 500 is like a luxury item. So here's what we're going to do. This live stream is for you guys. I Why do I do this? Number one, I freaking love this stuff. Number two, I want to create a legacy and help out as many people as possible. I feel the gurus in wholesaling, it's completely out of control. And this has been a long time coming. You see, for the first time, there is actually a voice in wholesaling. So you can see both sides of the story. Most of you guys only see the guru side and you wonder why there is such a high failure rate. And if you want to know what that failure rate is, 95%. And unfortunately, it's by design because people keep spending money on bad stuff. So what I want you to do is use the comments. If you have a question, put it in that comment section and I will try to answer it. Also, introduce us, let us know which market you're in. And guys, I like to have fun while I'm wholesaling. I don't like to be bored. I am a self-proclaimed ADHD person. So if you like, God, boy, this guy, like what, what's he doing? I'm on nothing other than just, I'm really happy with with life and without wholesaling, I would not be sitting in front of you today. It's changed my life. You guys know my son Zachary. So without further ado, and then also the one-on-ones. If you go over to wholesaling houses for real, click that link. You can get line, do a one-on-one. You don't have to go on video. I don't care. But if you have a question, there's probably a couple hundred other people that have the exact same question. So I want to help solve problems. You can't whine with me because I only know how to solve problems and work with you. And remember, guys, I know the journey you're on because I'm still doing it now. And I remember over 20 years ago when I started. So let's get into it. Just to let you understand, I was talking earlier is like for the first time in wholesaling and like ever since I've been involved with it, you now have a voice on both sides. And I will tell you the truth because I will tell you when I think someone's doing good and because there's always two sides to a story. So the problem is there's a lot of products. There's a lot of coaching services. You have no idea what it's capable of. This did not start till 2013, 14, and it's been been problematic. So make sure you do your research on anyone that you're going to pay. By the way, anything with me and Zach, we will never ask you for money. We'll never ask you about crypto. We don't talk about that stuff on this channel because that is just a distraction to waste people's time. And why would you talk about something like that on a real estate channel? It makes no sense to me. What I do or what you do with it is on your own because we're all on that journey by ourselves. We are all rookies. And my favorite part is when people tell you, I'll tell you how to do AI for wholesaling. Well, it just came out. How are you an expert? I'll tell you how to do digital currency. I'm the expert. And then they make a little bit of money, then they're expert. And then when they're losing their butt, you never hear a word from them. It's plagued this industry and I'm sick of it. Anyways, let's get into it. So how do I turn $500 into 20K? Honestly, the reality is you need to strike up two deals, 10K a piece. You need to simplify this, or maybe it, it might be three deals, but you're going to need between two and three deals to hit that target number. So the first thing is you have to understand understand the target number that you're going to go after. And guys, by the way, I'm going to get into the stream here. Make sure if you like this information that you smash that like button, make sure you are subscribed to this channel because the more
more people that subscribe, the more people that like it, the more we can share it, the more we can get the message out it, and the more we can stop you guys getting screwed by gurus that know very little about wholesaling. It, it's an epidemic. And I'm not talking about the people who did it legitimately. You guys want to pay for it. I, I don't have a problem with it. I've played for pe plenty of services, but wholesaling itself, if you guys are new to it, make sure you go over to freewholesaling.com. I'll put it on the ticker bottom right here. It is 100% a free course. You just give up your email address. That's your only cost. And you get some communications from me and Zach and that's it. And then we show you what we do in our business. We show you our wholesaling business. We do a seven figure business and we show you our wins. We show you our fails. And then we show you the wins we have with you guys. Now, I don't call you students because you're not a student. I don't call you mentees. I got to come up with a, uh, a word for it. And uh, a lot of nicknames floating out there. I think it's just kind of funny. So let's jump into it. Rick, how do we get that bread with that 500 bucks? So first thing you just have to identify and lay it out. So I'm going to try to make this one short because I want to get to as many um, lives as I can because we weren't able to get to everybody the other day. So the first thing is you have to know the items needed to do this. And it's important because a lot of people overlook that as well. You need an internet connection. Well, do I need a computer? Or do I not? Number one, these are recommended items. I know not everybody on the stream or anyone who watches this is not going to have it. It's okay. I'm going to give you ideas around it. I will tell you, if you have a car, it makes this exponentially easier. It makes your life exponentially easier. I get it. Cars are expensive. They're a pain in the butt. The maintenance is crazy. The gas is crazy, but eventually you're all going to need a car. So if you don't have a car, don't fret. I get it. I've been in that position before. So what you want to do is either borrow a car, um, supply someone with gas, or honestly, you could probably get away with a bike. You could do it on foot, but you're, you're going to have problems hitting numbers on it with foot. So number one, if you have a car, phenomenal. I'm going through a checklist here. Number two, cell phone or internet connection, at least one of them. And guys, you can get internet connect connection for free at your public library. So if you're on tough times, I'm giving you ideas. Remember the people who make the money are the ones who take the most action. It's very rarely the ones with the most amount of money. So, so cell phone or internet connection, both would be preferable, but at least one. And I will tell you this, you are going to have to have a no holds bar attitude if you're doing this on a zero to $500 budget, which means you are going to have to go through a lot of obstacles. You are going to have to attack. There's no way around this. If you're just going to go in this and just, uh, I'm going to give it a try. There is no trying zero to $500. You have to completely immerse yourself and you have to take a massive amount of action. So if you don't have a great attitude in going this, don't worry about the rest of stuff. It won't work. I'm just telling you the truth. Most gurus won't tell you that. It is the truth. The people that do the best with me that don't have money, they are just massive, massive action takers. And I know it's like an abusing word. The next one is you got to go over to freewholesaling.com because you need the education. Well, Rick, I can't afford the education. Me and Zach have 100% fixed it for you. Go over to freewholesaling.com. Go through the modules like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times. When I say immersion, I mean immerse. Pretend it's cold water and duck your head all the way down and stay long, down as long as you can hold your breath and keep reading it over and over. If you're like me, I learned by just doing something over and over. I don't want you to spend months on this, but go ahead and spend some time on it. And remember, wholesaling is to make money while you're learning the process. If you want to sit back and study it for two years and wait for the perfect opportunity, you're going to be broke and you're going to run out of time and energy. Wholesaling is something that you build each month when you move on. A lot of people say, hey, Rick, how long is it going to take me? There is no like set time. I've seen people do it in two weeks, crazy stuff. And honestly, there's a lot of luck built in that. But when you take a lot of action, you have more opportunities to get lucky. And as you do it, the repetition of talking to sellers, talking to everyone makes you a so much more effective wholesaler as opposed to people that want to buy a five or $10,000 course. They think things spend a couple thousand dollars a mail. They're going to have the same challenges you do. They still have to figure out how to talk to sellers, how to qualify them, how to get them under contract, how to get the verbiage right, and then go out and how to attract a cash buyer to take over your contract. It's the same thing. So go over to freewholesaling.com. And guys, here's the best part is I know what percentage you guys have gone through the module. So if I'm on a live with you and you say, hey, I've been through entire free wholesaling, I can click one button and tell me. I don't hang it over your head because I only want to deal with the people that want to be successful. How? You have to take the action. You cannot filter it out. So go through it step by step, get started and immerse yourself in it. So I will tell you this. I'm going to get more detail as I go down the list. You have to do cold calling on this, this type of budget. There's no way around it. Why? Because a lot of you don't have a car. It's the fastest way to contact people and cold calling. It just cuts out the middleman. So you don't have to wait for a piece of mail to hit. You don't have to wait for this or a door hanger to do. When you call, you find out if they have interest. 
95% of the people will not want to do business with you. You have to understand that going into it and you have to spend a lot of time up front just disqualifying it. And once you get someone that has an interest and motivation, then you have an opportunity to take a deal down. You could call 100, 200 people in a day. How much time would it take you to drive to every one of those people's houses, send the mail and do all that stuff for that reason? You can't avoid cold calling is the best way. The reason is I'm not telling you to do SMS because it's not in the budget. 500 bucks, you are not going to get an SMS campaign accomplished. There's no way. Maybe do it manually, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, okay. So we're going to do cold calling. We're going to do probates and foreclosures. Why? Because these are the most highly motivated lists and these lists are not huge. So these are lists like you can mail to. You can write a handwritten letter, stick it in the mail. Your probates are probably less than 50 to 70 in your given market in a month. And then the foreclosures are probably less than 50. So it's less than a hundred contacts. So what you can do is you can either skip trace and get their phone number, or you can send them a letter, or you can do both. The reason I pointed this out, because this was, I didn't do probates in the beginning. So I did pre foreclosures and foreclosures. How do you get them? They're part of your government list. Go on the freeholdselling.com or show you how to do it. These lists are very tiny guys. They're very manageable. So you can do this within a $30 budget to do that. I didn't put that in my numbers, but I left a room for it. And the other thing you got to get used to is sticky notes. Sticky notes is a reverse driving for dollar method where you put a sticky note on the door and you just simply say, got a quick question about the house. Give me a call. It's Rick. And you put a phone number. You put a hundred of those on your foreclosures. It could be your probates. It could be your eviction list, whatever it is. And then of that, the people will call you back with the ones you want to work with. It saves you time and you are not sitting there knocking on a hundred doors, taking eight hours of your day. So I'm moving through this. Now I'm going to start breaking down some, some specifics. So those are you going to do driving for dollars, which is one of my most preferable methods because it's the fastest way is you got to pick up a hundred driving for dollars minimum per week. That gives you at least 400 for the month to deal with. And guys, this is on the extreme light side. I debated which one I'm going to share with you. If you want to double it, I would double it. And when I say contact list, understand those are people that you actually make contact with. Yes, I want to talk to you. So you might have to get three or 400 driving for dollars just to get down to that hundred. So you go, Rick, a hundred a little bit light. Remember, those are contacts. So if you have a list of 300 and you only get a hold of a hundred, then that would qualify. So it is an aggressive number. The word contact is the key. The next one you have to do is 500 government list contact. So you take any of your government list. If you don't know how to do this, go over to freewholesaling.com. I go in the complete detail on it. They're going to be your probates, your eviction list, your uh, foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, your tax delinquencies, water shutoffs, fire damage, the lists are endless. 500 contacts, which means you're going to have to have a lot more leads to get those 500 contacts. And then we talked about the probate and foreclosure letters. The letters are cheap, guys. They're really simple. I don't want you sending letters to high equities because you're not going to be able to get it done within 500 bucks. So, so you're probably saying, Rick, if I got to do cold calling, I got to do what? You're going to have to do skip tracing. So if you're broke and you don't have any money, you can start out doing it for free. TruePeopleSearch.com, WhitePages.com. You guys can use Spokio. It's like 10 bucks a month type of service. But here's the deal. The good news is it's free. The bad news is it's extremely painful. It's a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of time. And that's just, that's just the card you're dealt and you have to deal with it. Now, what I would do is the onesie twosies, I would pick away on the free ones. And then at some point on this program, you're going to have to do some bulk skip tracing. And if you know what bulk skip tracing is, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's when you get like 30 to 50 numbers all at once because the manually skip trace them, it takes anywhere from two to five minutes for each one. So it becomes a time game. So sometimes you can take your weekends. If you guys or gals sitting around watching a, a sporting event, like watching the Dolphins get crushed by the Bills this weekend, which is going to be painful. This is how I would do it. And then you're going to wait. You're just, you, I'm just going to tell you, you're going to run out of time. So with the uh, driving for dollars list and your government list, you're going to run out. So we're going to build that within our $500 bu budget. And then guys, you got to understand, you're going to become a list ninja. And I literally mean that. You have to study lists and play with the filters and get it perfect. So when I was broke doing this, if I only had $200 to spend on a list, and guys, we spent between two and $800 on every list. You don't know how good you have it right now. I had to make it perfect. I, I just, I didn't want to waste one dime. So I would like, I just constantly mess with the filter. I, I rather you spend three or four hours on a list than you spending three or four hours on a comp. Comping is for realtors. I get it. We still have to have good comp. But honestly, if you don't have a good list, don't even worry about running a comp because it's not going to work. So how do we spend the zero to $500? So I'm assuming I'm going to give you the top line budget of 500 bucks and I'm telling you exactly how we'll spend it. And we can debate it. We can talk about it. You guys let me know what you think. But I'm telling you today, you said, Rick, you only got 
$500, this is exactly how I would spend it. Now the numbers are much bigger from when I started because things were a lot cheaper. So number one, I set aside 35 bucks a month for coffee. Like Rick, hell, I can get coffee in my own, own home. Number one, the coffee's not for you. Coffee's for all those people you want to sit down, pick their brain, you want to network with. Maybe you have another wholesaler successful in your market. Instead of taking them out to lunch or dinner, which you're going to go broke doing that, and you're going to gain a lot of weight, is go take them to a Starbucks or a local coffee store. I could do without Starbucks. And just go buy them a cup of coffee and sit down and talk to them. And by the time that coffee's done, you need to be done with them. Why? Because you got to respect people's time. But $35 could probably get you, you guys tell me, unless you guys are doing those uh, maca latte triple shot express thing, just go get a basic cup of coffee. And here's the deal. Like Starbucks says, you get refills for like 50 cents. So do that. Buy your cl- buy the person whatever they want. You got to let, the, if they get the triple lock the mocha, it's just going to eat in your budget. But most people are pretty respectful. And then just talk to them. When they're done with their coffee, you need to be done. I The lunch and dinners is just a huge waste of time. And you do not want to go to a bar to do this. So a coffee is perfect because coffee works at any time of the day. And the story, guys, like you, th- that's this $35 has made me million. I, unfortunately, I spend more than 35, but I'm just telling you, you got to be a little bit on a budget when you're doing this. The next one, I want you guys to go to your local RIA for networking. Now, here's a little hint. You should go to the the first meeting for free, the first few meetings for free, print, go to your local RIA site, which stands for Real Estate Investor Association, and they'll have a free coupon. They want you to come in and see what it's all about. I'm going to give you some rules to this. This is a networking event. The most important time is before the meeting and after the meeting. The meetings are kind of boring. I'm not going to lie to you. There's some good stuff there, but you're going to get a lot of gurus that talk theory and they're going to try to sell you everything. That I don't blame them for doing it. I used to run one. I used to be guilty of it. I was like, this, this product's pointless. What they do is they split it with their local RIA host and the local host job fill the seats and then he's supposed to bring in quality speakers. But the problem is they have to bring in speakers that actually pay so they can split the product. So go learn. Don't buy anything there. Local RIAs are for networking. Some of my absolute best friends in wholesaling were discovered at a RIA. And the RIA didn't really make me money. The contact has made me beyond. When I say millions and millions, it's endless. And I have about six contacts I've made at my local RIA that have dramatically changed my life. And I'm just telling you, go there. And remember, two ears, one mouth rule. You have to ask high quality questions and let people talk. And then you're going to have to avoid the people that are just going to waste your time there. So this is a great place to learn from other wholesalers, get um, find um, investor friendly realtors and so on. So now we keep moving down the line. Now I'm going to get a little more advanced on here. I would make sure I had 75 bucks for gas to do my driving for dollars. It's just give or take. Hopefully you guys aren't hauling around in a uh, excursion or anything like that. But um, <laughs> you know, try to get like an affordable car, you know, like I, oh, Rick, you know, get an EV. No, because you're going to go broke buying the EV. Um, but like $75, I think is a reasonable number. It might be closer to a hundred in today's um, dollar amount, but you need to know that going into it. So um, like, feel like I didn't listen. If your parents pay for the gas or somebody else, then this gives you bonus money. But if you're on your own and you're paying for things, you need to account for this because a lot of people don't account for this stuff. It adds up. The next one, guys, using the software companies, there's only there's only a few me and Zach will ever even recommend to you because number one, we have to use in our business. Everything we recommend to you guys has been in our business one year plus, mostly two years plus. ListRei.com. I'm just a little bit biased. I think it is like the one and done for me if I'm on a budget. 99 bucks. You get a driving for dollars app in there. You get all the comps you want to do and you can find out as much information on the property and you get 10,000 leads a month. Guys, I already told you I just pay between two and $800 per list. So $99 a month and get that all wrapped up. It's better than having an employee and I make it part of your $500 budget. You still have to do the work. So the other one you can do is ZachData.com. It's a little bit more advanced and that's where you can do some of your bulk skip tracing, which I will highlight here. And then you can use the driving for dollar app. If you're really going to go in and do the driving for dollars, you need to do the dmzac.com. It's like 60 bucks a month. It will well organize the stuff for you and it works really well. Now, the last part of the money I'm going to spend is going to be on bulk skip tracing. This is when I just run out of gas. I just got 200 fresh leads and I got to process and pay them. So if you go over to zacdata.com and there's a million other sites, but this one's it's very professional. It's the most organized one. It's the one we use in our business is I've set like 250 bucks aside. You got to get phone numbers to do cold calling or this is painful. And a lot of people do not set the money aside for it. Um, dude, guys, I used to pay a buck 50 per phone number when I first did skip tracing. I thought it was the greatest thing I ever done. Now you're down to anywhere from 12 to 15 cents. I've heard in 10 cents. If you can get a cheaper, great. Be very careful using a third party because a lot of times they're stealing the data and they're going to use that same data to attack 
your list and sell it to somebody else. So that's why we like using exactdata.com. But if you add those all up, it comes to just a shade under 500. If I leave 20 bucks to do the envelopes and the letters, might be a little bit more. So maybe just a tad over $500. This is how I'm going to attack it. It's very, it seems like a lot, but it's not. And the crazy part is sometimes you have to sit down and write down what all this stuff costs because a lot of people don't know what stuff costs. So yes, truepeoplesearch.com is free. And then you can use a paid one if you're running out of time because here's what happens. When you're doing thousands and thousands of numbers, you're going to get like arthritis of the fingers typing in all this stuff in truepeoplesearch.com. Whereas if you use a paid bulk skip trace, you can put 500 numbers in there and it spits them out, which is really convenient. Now it's never completely perfect, but I'm telling you it's huge. So I've never been a big cold caller until I brought Zach um, into my company and then we completely changed our philosophy. Um, you learn so much in this business and that's how you learn. And guys, this is it. So if you can't get two or three deals from the strategy I just showed you, there's something wrong with the way you're doing it. it remember, I didn't say you're going to get them overnight. The idea is to get in contact to get a contract within 30 days. The only way you can accomplish that with $500 less is a ton of consistent, massive action. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be painful, but it's extremely doable. It, all you need is one kind. Guys, when I started this, I didn't know one person in the business. I didn't even know what I was doing. I had no idea what an EMD was. Here's the only difference is I just wanted to do it and I knew it works. I just had to find a way to make it work with me. You are no different than me. So what we have to do is break down to see how we can get you effective in doing it. Some of you guys are like just kicking around wholesaling right now. Some of you just got started and some of you are frustrated and I get it. And I'm here to kind of represent everyone and help everybody out doing it. So my biggest fear when I started wholesaling after my first year is I'm going to run out of deals. I'm here on year 21, guys. I've never run out of deal. Have I had challenges? Absolutely. But I want to share with you guys today